But that, no, because nobody's replied to us. I, I have no. no idea what happened. I hit the button. We, we were we were turned on. Guys, the music we, played. Turn, Sarah we and were I have been chatting with you people for how long? Four minutes. Yeah, we thought we were live for four minutes. I hit so. the button, Sarah. I'm never hitting the button again as long as I live. <laughs> So we were well into the question of the week, so we have, have to start over. over. Okay. okay, let's start over. We, hey, we all, Sarah, I also said hi doing? to everybody. I said hi to everybody. I went down the list. The hi to everybody. Yeah. I hit the live button, and you know where it says, are you ready to go live? The second button window came up. I clicked it. I played the music. I know. You, music and everything. Well, hello, everybody. Sorry. Um. Okay, so if you haven't noticed, the front page, the front facing page of WikiTree has not been updated. So if you're going over there to look for the links, then yeah, you're about to chat presentations yourselves. So that's good, Sharon. If you go to the front facing page and you're looking for the links to our stuff, you aren't going to find it because the page hasn't been updated, which is quite odd. It's that's the first time in my memory of 10 years that it didn't. I think we were mm -hmm. talking to ghosts. We were. Yeah, Joe Mama. We, I was we wondering were. why nobody was replying to anything I was saying, you know. So do you have actors in your family tree? That's the question of the week. We had already started on that. So we'll start over on that. Uh, ben Johnson, my husband's first cousins, my aunt's husband's first cousin. And I said, that's like an A.J. Jacobs connection where it's my cousin's sister's husband's first cousin's father. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, Catherine Hepburn's stepmother was this uh, Sarah Frigioni or Frigioni, her, her uh, great aunt was Catherine Hepburn's step stepmother. That's pretty close. That's very close. I mean, like you could go over for family dinners. That's how close that was, right? <laughs> Um, my brother-in-law, Arliss Jeffries, acted in various plays from high school to college, community theater, various locations. There are a lot of people who talk about community theater and college theater and school theater in this. And even if you don't have famous relatives, it's great to go out and support your local community theater and see some great stuff. Okay. Uh, check that out. Nancy Culp, Nancy Jane Culp from the Beverly Hillbillies, Miss Jane, fourth cousins once removed. That's Diane Halschel there. Uh, Nicole Dumal says that she's got writers in her family, but she's related to Henry Kimball. So you can check him out if you want to check him out. Sandy Van Orden Burton says that my husband has George Clooney in his tree. How hmm. cool is that? And she found a stunt man for Vin Diesel in her tree. And Vin Diesel does some pretty crazy stuff in his movies. So that stunt double should be famous. Raymond Massey is a distant cousin. So some of these people I have never heard of before. I have heard of Elvis. Is a 10th cousin to her, through her dad's lines. And then Elizabeth Taylor, or 11th cousins. Robert Redford. Uh, that's interesting. From Christine Miller. Butch Smith. I have a few bad actors, but none that did it professionally. So we've got a lot of bad actor comments also. Uh, my aunt and uncle were in many shows on Broadway, like Hello, Dolly, My Fair Lady, and Evita. That's from Kelly Stamper. Mark Maxner says, uh, 25th Cousins from actress Betty White. And then David Moorhead answers him, Betty and David are 16th Cousins. Nobody close from Wendy Tilden Quick, but uh, my grandpa had a cousin who was a Canadian broadcaster for the CBC. His name was Lamont Tilden. Yeah, you got it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Roderick Thomas Branch. Uh, not that I know of, except they had a drama queen in the family. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope she grows out of it before middle school. Uh, <laughs> Not sure I work background on a bit show called Rectified, a movie called The Wrong Man with Julia Ormond. Uh, that's J Janie Archer. So she's like been in stuff. So that's cool. Uh, and Dalton Pope says just a couple. Oh, and there's a long list. Oh. Way on down through there. 
Tommy Buck. Tommy Brad Buck Pitt's at the bottom. What's that? Brad Pitt was the last one on that list. Yeah. Um. So let's go over here. Why didn't this get big? Whoops. I have everything all set up and I just messed it up. Boy, I'm not doing things right this morning. Um, Gail Christie, Neil Patrick Harris, and I are ninth cousins, both descended from uh, Otterback original settlers of the German colony in 1714 in Virginia. Um, let's see, I had this set up for somebody particular. It might have been Tommy Bucks. I might miss it. Uh, here we go. Paula Franklin, Brad Pitt. Third cousin. That's pretty close. That is close. That's kissing cousins close, right? Um, far enough away you could still, you know, date. You could Brad marry Pitt. the guy and not have 10, 11 toes. <laughs> uh, Annie Potts. Love this. Annie Potts. If you know Annie Potts, she's like one of my favorite actresses. She uh, is related, six cousins, th three times removed to Eileen Robinson. And Eileen was in some musicals and plays in high school. Like I said, people were talking about how they had done some stuff. Slim Pickens was my first cousin. That is the closest connection we have. And that's from Charlie Freeman. And of course, Pip Shepard thought that being that close to Slim Pickens was great because, you know, Pip. Um, and then let's see. The next one I had set up was Randy Meyer. <clears throat> my paternal grandmother, Marie Lockhart, was cousin to actress June Lockhart. Um, I love this. And people were doing this, like the guy on Facebook that had the big long list. Through WikiTree, I learned this week that Tom Cruise, because of the, the challenge this week, Tom Cruise is my ninth cousin once removed. Um, so that's pretty cool from Craig Connolly. Mark Williams says, I'm an, a singer actor and my daughter is as well. Curiously, the only celebrities actress I've found so far are Paris Hilton. <laughs> All right. And uh, this was another one of those crazy long ones from Roy Pope. Um, Humphrey and Carol Lynn are my eighth cousins once removed from Carolyn Napora. Tommy Buck, I had you all set up and I can't find it. So I'm sorry. I was going to talk about your connection, but I, I missed mm -hmm. it on the first tree somewhere. I guess I could do this. I could go up and say, fine. Buck, Buck, here we go, Tommy Buck, Dick Van Dyke, seventh cousins once removed, there you go, Tommy Buck, I, I gotcha, and you know, everybody just likes to look at Chris Pine, so uh, Alexis Nelson says, through WikiTree, Chris Pine, fifth cousin, you know, and not removed, fifth cousins. He's also a Star Trek Actor He's too. a Star Trek guy. We, he wasn't mm -hmm. on last time, and he was the captain of the new Enterprise. So yeah, I think the focus was the old, the the older series is, or actually the movies. alternate Enterprise, the alternate universe, the alternate alternate universe yeah. with Chris Pine. So that is the question of the week, and uh, that was fun. And Tommy, I gotcha, I gotcha, man, I gotcha. I I found I went because since they were talking about Tom Cruise, I went to see. I'm not actually related to him, but I'm 23 degrees away from Tom Cruise. It'd be I fun to see how we're how everybody's related to all of the Chris actors: Chris Pratt, Chris Pine, Chris Hemsworth, Chris Rock. They should have Chris, a Chris. They should have a Chris. A Chris they should have a. That would be fun. A Chris connection here. And then we have Chris Witten as the top one. <laughs> That'd be true. <laughs> we, should, we should suggest that to Aon. I think somebody was just on our. Somebody said hello, being Wiki Tree. So unless that was you, Bags, somebody nope, was. No, that wasn't uh, me. I don't know who it was. We they don't didn't, know who they you didn't are. reveal. We didn't, they didn't reveal themselves. It could be Alash. It could be Aon. It could be Steve. It could be Mendy. It could be Mendy. Mendy's been uh, sneaking in. <laughs> Okay, now we have our profiles. Course, Chris Ferriello says you should do a Chris, and he should be included because Chris is such a cool name. Oh, 
It was you, Chris? You you were the wiki tree? Oh, he snuck into the wiki tree. Well, we have our, I actually like this theme of our profiles of the week because. Uh, yes. Just. Because you're an artistic person. Mm-hmm. What artist are you closely, most closely connected to? With a uh, Rembrandt being It our... wasn't Chris. He's admitting it. Oh. Oh. Uh. And so we are featuring Rembrandt because apparently it's the anniversary of the opening of the Louvre, which was today's date in 1793. Wow. How many years is that? Somebody do the math, please. Math. Somebody math. <laughs> Somebody do math. <clears throat> and when was it? 1793. That was 229 years ago, madam. Wow. That's a lot. Hi, June. Hey, June. So Rembrandt, he, I... I enjoy. I like him as an as a um, artist. Studied him. So he was born in 1606 in the Netherlands. Passed away at 1669 in Amsterdam. Um, if you're not familiar with his stuff, I was actually looking at this one yesterday. The Night Watch. You were in the museum looking at that yesterday. No, I was just. I just saw it on my. Just, Are all of these paintings, all of these artists featured in the Louvre? I would assume so, what because the, it's about the Louvre. I guess we'll find out. I was going to say, what is the common uh, thread here? Well, it says artists. So I guess we'll see if they're all actually in the Louvre. We can, do, we can go searching for them. You are 32, degree, 32 degrees from the M through your daddy. Oh, am I actually related to him? No. Oh. Like it's the relationship finder. The, mm. the connection finder. So his profile is also in Dutch. So if you know Dutch or you want to try to read the Dutch, it's also in Dutch. So. Where is Greg when we need him? I know. So he did a lot of, I, I like his stuff. So there you go. There is Rembrandt, Van Rien. Next on our list. Mm-hmm. And he's had one, two, three, four, five children. Maybe more, but at least that's all that's here on his um, profile. Next we have Mary Cassatt, born in 1844 in Pennsylvania and passed away in 1926 in France. So maybe we can assume she is in the Louvre. That yeah. is our closest, your, yours and mine. Yours is through your dad again, but not directly related. Mm -hmm. Mine is through, you're, you're 17 and I'm 18, and mine is through my mom. Okay. How are you guys related? Throw some yeah, of those out. Yes. John Tyner says she's my closest at 21. So... Um, so she was an American printmaker and artist, mostly known for her theme of mother and child. Um, apparently, she was a descendant of the French Huguenot Jacques Cossart, who came to New Amsterdam in 1662. <clears throat> uh, Mary wanted to become an artist at a time when art was considered a social talent for women. Her father objected to her aspirations. Um, despite these barriers, she studied at the Fine Arts Academy in Philadelphia. Um, she moved to Paris, um, but the institution, she studied privately with the teachers there as the institution did not accept women. Um, and says, doesn't say here if she's in the Louvre, but we can, let's see. Mary, what's that? Louvre? Is she in? That's interesting. Edgar Degas has a piece of art saying Mary Cassatt at the Louvre. <laughs> so she's in a painting in the Louvre. Let 
Okay, next on our list we have another one probably a lot of you are familiar with, Salvador Dali, born 1904 in Spain. He's a um, surrealist painter with his melting clocks, the persistence of memory. Um, when did he pass away? In 1989. So not, you know, sometimes you think of these artists, like sometimes they'll be like, oh, they were further away, but they're more recent. Has anybody else said who they're related to, Mags? Mags, I can't hear you. You're muted. Sorry about that. I had to blow my nose. <laughs> um, my boy, I'm not hitting on all cylinders today. My third great grandmother, Margaret Hutton, did a painting of her three dollars. It was a copy of Edward William Burton. I don't understand that, John. Can you explain that for Hillary? Hillary is closest as Tom Thompson. Hmm. Twenty-one degrees. He's coming up at some some point down here. I think it's the last one here. So, um, Dali actually met Pablo Picasso on his first trip to Paris in 1926. And then um, Dali also was suffered from depression, drug addiction, and Parkinson-like symptoms. There is Dali. Do you not have any children? Your mama wants to know if your mama is related to Salvador Dali. She would really like to be, I let's, can tell. Let's see. Let's check it out. We're not directly related, but we're <gasps> 34 degrees, but through the through our father, through my father. Not through uh, our father, through my through father. Through your husband. Through that yeah. man you married. <laughs> Um, oh, John Tyner says uh, he's an Irish watercolor artist. Uh, he did the original painting. My ancestor mm. copied it. Okay, thank you, John. Thank cool. you. Oh, Vermeer and Sargent are the closest Ooh, to each other. I also like Vermeer. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's always through because there's just more, I guess, dad's side is more fleshed out on Wiki Tree. Because you have we have some brick walls on my mom's side. <laughs> She's a brick house. Oh, sorry, you didn't say that. You just said brick wall. Nineteen from Sergeant for Chris Perriello. Mm hmm Keep going. Okay, so next we have Theodore Jericolt. Jericolt is that how is that how you would pronounce that, Max? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Very cool. And it's Yugano. Yugano. You don't Huguenot. pronounce the H and you don't pronounce the T. Yugano. Oh. Yeah. I did pronounce that wrong. So Ooh, Theodore. You get a demand from your mom will Sarah flush that side out. From your well, mom. Well, well, you're there's nothing I can do with the Italian and Spain sides. They're just you no, know, I need to. It's a brick wall. Okay, and we go on. So Theodore was born in 1791 in France. He died fairly young at the age of 32. Um, best known for his painting, The Raft of the Medusa. Oh, we don't have. It's not on the profile. Is it the in raft, the background there? Raft. And it's in the Louvre. This one's in the Louvre. Yep, that's the background picture for oh, the. Okay. For the yeah. I feel like people would want to see a better version of it, more clear. Oh, yeah, than just the fringes there, for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so it was first exhibited in 1819, and he died shortly after that in 1824. And then looks like the rest of that bit is in French. So why did he... His brother, he's the brother of George Nicholas, um, and he lived, yeah, and he, go ahead. I'm curious how he passed away, what caused him to die so young. 
Um, he was one of the pioneers of the Romantic movement. Let's see. I will look here some other of his works. Doo doo doesn't say. It says he never married from Lisa Gervais. Mm -hmm. Bring in yeah. Ottawa. Bring in Ottawa. Did you see I was throwing up the picture of the bridge replacement, Lisa? You're not coming into town. I know that. It's a. Well, I think I think we didn't. They actually didn't see that part because we weren't oh. live. <laughs> I could throw that up. I still have it. You know, it's still going oh. on here in the background. There we go. Good no, stuff. I won't mess up your. Go for it. Oh. So now we have Hans Hasen. Hans Hasen. Born in 18, 18, 1877. And he died in Australia in 1968. He's born in Germany, in Hamburg. Germany, yeah, Germany born Australian artist. His and, and his parents were the British Empire, too. Mm -hmm. So he's a sir. Sir Hans. <laughs> Sir Hans. <laughs> Sir Hans Solo. No, I'm sorry. Um, his father his father emigrated to South Australia in 1883, and his mother brought the surviving five children the following year. At 14, Hayston bought his first paints. He said, I saw a drain pipe with stalks and reeds. It seemed to me beautiful, so I painted it. And he began formal lessons with James Ashton, where his talent was soon recognized. That's a, I like that. I've never heard of him before. Um, that's a nice landscape. And he, so yeah, he would, he also studied in Paris at the Academy Julian and some other places. And then he traveled to Italy in 1903, so through Italy. He set up his studio, taught classes. And is he in the Louvre as well? I'm curious. I like that. I like that too. I'm looking to see. Let's look. Hans Hasen. Is he in the Louvre? It's not easily found. I spelled it wrong anyway. Does anybody know? I, it's not easily found. So we are going to go to the next person. Vermeer. Goes by his last name. He's a realist. Mm-hmm. like his stuff too. He's a, a Baroque painter. If it ain't Baroque, don't fix it. I like Albrecht Dürer too. Mm. He's a realist. realist. I, I'm assuming we're still connected because there's absolutely no conversation going on in the peanut gallery over there. <laughs> Are we still here, people? You guys, you guys still listening to us? <laughs> did I hit the wrong button? Mm -hmm. Or did I ban you all? <laughs> I mean, she's, it's happened before. I wouldn't yeah, be surprised. I didn't ban everybody. Just, to, just, just a couple just, people. Just people got time. booted and... Was it Steven? Oh, okay, good. We're still here. Okay, good. Whew. They're just so um, enthralled by your conversation. And I know. My about. beautiful... The beautiful art and me describing it. Didn't they just discover something about the astronomer painting that when they cleaned it up, one there, there was something in the painting in the background, the one that's the white I, one on the... Didn't they just discover something about it? I don't know. That? I didn't hear anything about it. So the, the astronomer is in the Louvre. Let's see. Nothing comes up. I thought Louvre. they did a cleanup on it, and when they did it, they found something in the background. I've forgotten. Hmm. Nothing that I can easily find. Oh, are we having a family reunion today, Aaron? <laughs> or just a gathering? A painting of Cupid in the background. I, I thought so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
But apparently Vermeer, he was actually, well, he's popular now. During his lifetime, he was not well regarded. So his family was left in debt, debt upon his death. His debt upon his death. That was a tongue Say twister. Say that three times real fast. Debt upon his death. Debt upon his death. <laughs> okay. Next we have Bruno. Yeah. Wow. Go for it. Lugiforus. Born in Sweden in 1860. Also died in Sweden in 1939. Swedish artist known for painting animals. Oh my gosh, so now we have to go look at his stuff. Animals. I feel like if you're doing a profile on an artist, you have to have pictures of his pictures. Look, he did cats. <gasps> oh, look, and a fox. I love oh, this. Look at he's the my cat he's my new favorite. Snow. He's my new favorite artist. Of course he is. <laughs> Well, I don't condone outdoor cats. That's still, it's a cute photo. <laughs> Poor bird, but <laughs> cute photo. A little, a little rabbit. How cute. Oh, That's uh, Bruno. <laughs> Chris Ferriello said, oh boy, here we go. It's the rest of the hour. <laughs> and we're not going to talk about anybody else. That's it. This is it. Um, apparently, he was also part of a group of gymnasts that Victor Bullock toured with in England and Belgium. Huh. He also hunted. I guess that's why he did a lot of animal paintings because he was hunting. And we all and... know that outdoor cats are hunters. Indoor cats are hunters too, but mm -hmm. maybe that's why he painted them because they're hunters. Yeah. <clears throat> You know, while you were gone this this summer, I was telling everybody that you were out alligator wrestling. Mate, it's possible. It's possible. But do 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 you have one out there? I know. <laughs> okay, so we all like Bruno because he paints cats and foxes. Next, we have Margaret McDonald. Mar Margaret McIntosh, formerly McDonald, we born in eighteen sixty four in England. And apparently we don't know where she died. It's a mystery. 1933. She, apparently she was the second of five children of John, an engineer and colliery manager. Um, I never heard of her either. That's, that's interesting. Let's look at some. Margaret McIntosh. Let's look at her. Margaret Mac. And Tosh McDonald. Fashion. I guess she was more of a line, line, well, line work. Art decor. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, 30s. Oh, I feel, I've seen, definitely seen this one. Yeah. No, I've seen that one. Your mama says that you were margarita wrestling. <laughs> Did I, what? Your mom says that you are margarita wrestling. Oh. Yeah. I, I won, though. Yeah. I won that wrestling. I've seen that one. I have seen this one, too. Yeah. Yeah, the more I'm looking at it now, I definitely have seen her work, but I just never knew her name. Very ethereal. Mm-hmm. And uh, Art Deco. Yes. Large gesso paint panels. Her most dynamic words are large gesso panels. And she designed with for? her she designed with her husband. Um, so she did tea rooms, private residences. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I guess she died in England. I guess someone needs to update her death location because it says it's unknown here. Okay, next we have Charles Porter, born in 1848 in Connecticut. Also died. Oh, he died on my birthday in 1923 in Connecticut. Look at that. So Happy he was. Happy belated birthday. Huh? Happy belated birthday. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. It's a little, it's a very belated, but. Very belated. Very belated. 
but it's okay. So Charles Ethan Porter was an American painter who specialized in still life paintings. And he was the first African-Americans to exhibit at the National Academy of Design. Let's look at his stuff since also there's nothing here. Oh, fruit. Another still life. Still life is hard to, to do sometimes. It's definitely a skill. You have to, that's your skill? No, it's, oh, it's, it's it, it is a, you know, it's a, I guess all art is a, you know, my grandma did stuff like this. My grandma painted still, still life stuff. Apparently Charles was one of 14 children. I mean, she, he was one of the first in the family to graduate high school. Um, Lisa Gervais has been uh, checking on Theodore, um, the Raft of Medusa guy. Mm -hmm. The Raft of the, the Medusa top, guy. It's one of the top 20 paintings in the Louvre. Oh, okay. I, it seems like all these artists seem like they're all in the Louvre. I... Uh, yeah, so that's Charles Porter. Next. We have John Sargent, born in 1856 in Italy and died in England in 1925. You are 20 degrees from him. It's interesting to say he, he's an American expatriate artist, considered the leading portrait painter of his generation. Yeah. Oh, I guess because his parents were originally from Philadelphia and born, and I guess they moved to Italy because they constantly moved around Europe. Is that his signature? What is that? I don't know. It doesn't say. It looks like it would be his uh, signature. But probably he puts on his paintings. Betsy Co. he's my closest too at 18. Hmm. Apparently he... Uh, he was a fashionable society of portraitists. Most of his pieces were commissioned from wealthy social figures. And he, in 1918, he was asked by Britain's war office to become the official war artist in France, sketching everything from the soldiers to wrecked buildings. Let's go look at more of his stuff. Let's see. You can see like where he's doing the high end portraits and then some of the, I guess the ones that he did for the um, war council. He was astonishingly realistic. Very impressive. Yep. And that is not his signature. No, what is it? No. I don't know. I don't. Ha I haven't been able to find it. Hmm. Odd. So we have Thomas Thompson. Tom Thompson from Canada, born in 1887. Was he was a popular, influential candidate Canadian artist in the early part of the 20th century. His painting, The West Wind and Jack Pine, are familiar to most Canadians. Are you familiar with those, Max? I am. And apparently he drowned while canoeing in a canoe lake in Algonquin Park. Which is he not died here. Let's see. Tom Thompson. There he is. His paintings. Morning, as. Okay, we have, I think that was it. I thought I had one more, but that's all of our artists for the week. Yeah, they, the, the, he was a part of the group of seven and they painted landscapes. Oh. Let me pull that information up. Group of seven. 
um, group of seven artists, um, once known as the Algonquin School, was a group of Canadian landscape painters from 1920 to 1933, hmm. originally consisting of Franklin Carmichael, Lauren Harris, A.Y. Jackson, Frank Johnson, Arthur Lismer, uh, J.E.H. McDonald, Frederick Farley, uh, A.J. Casson was later, Edwin Holgate, and Lemoyne Fitzgerald. They did some incredibly beautiful, beautiful um, paintings of Canada. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that, that's all of the painters. Now, I guess we can move over to where we're, we're, I've been showing them what I've been watching. Oh. The live, the live oh. replacement oh. of a bridge on, on one of our main roads. Okay, bye. Thrilling. <laughs> <laughs> and look how, how appropriate you it was that. appropriate. It was appropriate. Because our photo of the week theme is means of transport. Oh, look at that one. Chick Lovelace sitting on his father's car. What's the year of that? There should be a date on that license. 1920. The photo is 1924. You can't make it out. It's convertible. Mm hmm. Douglas Porter. Yep. On board a ship. 1928. I wonder if he's in uniform. Just wonder where he is, where he's going. Ooh. On a steam engine in Germany. Yeah. The other tag says uh, U.S. Army 101st Airborne Pictures. Ooh. <clears throat> Roadside Picnic in 1960 in Vermont. Oh, look. It's a horse sled. Montana. It's a sleigh. Yeah, we've seen that picture before. I feel like we have. Oh, look, I just realized there's a dog. Oh, there's also a cat. Look at the cat. And a dog? Oh my goodness. It's been a good week so far. And horses, yeah. so. We got paintings of animals. We have this. And it's funny how you can see the shadow of the guy taking the picture right there, too. How do you like my car? Or is it he's showing off his hat? My hat and my car. <laughs> Ooh. That is a means of transport. John Deere. Mm -hmm. Isabel McPherson and the family car, Oklahoma, 1948. Oh, look at look at wow. on a tricycle in North Dakota. That is a very old picture. Let's see, Morris was in 1905, so he's probably like five in this photo. Probably 1910, around that. Those are all the photos there. Let's see if we have any extras in the G2G post. Oh, we saw this one. <clears throat> Saw so this one too. We used to do uh, that. Did your family do that? Like drive through an area and stop at these roadside picnic areas for we did. Mm -hmm. Probably so. around the same time. What year was that? 1960. Yep. The steam engine. Oh, we didn't see this one. 
Thomas and Candy in Taiwan. How cute. Your mom says, yes, we did, Sarah. We did stop at those roadside places and, and eat. Oh, so we uh, when we drove to go camping, I guess we did stop at a rest stop and ate. <laughs> oh, we didn't see this one. My grandfather, Stanley Fulford, at age 16. And his cousin, Muriel Kennedy, standing on the running board. This is his grandfather, age 16. Yeah. It looks very old for 16 there. I don't know. Yeah, I would never have guessed age 16. <laughs> Lisa Gervais, I can't add photos because they are not currently online. Oh, no. You can upload them to a free space profile, Lisa, if you want to. Yeah. Scan them too. And when we're done, Sarah's going to show us how to do that. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't see. Okay, this one. In 1939, my mother's great uncle, now you're going to try that, was a point of the oh, job. Yeah. <laughs> Ying Viv, that was my attempt. Point of the job as captain on the railway ship connecting Trelleborg, Sweden with Sassnitz, Germany. He held that position until his retirement in 1950. Railroad ship. Hmm. Yep. That's interesting. Yeah. We saw this one. Might not meet today's safety expectations. No. Why not? And, that, and that's it. I guess I'm showing everybody how to add a photo to the free space page. Or yeah. yeah. So if you want to add a photo to the photo of the week's free space page, you can usually find it on usually on G2G for each week they post an update. 52 photos. You can also look up the tag 52 photos. It's usually tagged. That there's come we can come to the images tab. And you click here to upload. And you just upload your file. You put a source because you want, you want to make sure you're, the photo you're uploading, you have the right the permission to post online. And like that, that funny picture where we thought it was Sergeant's signature, tell us what the picture is about. Yes. Um, you, the title. It's always good to put all of this information because the more information you put, the more likely someone is to find it. Mm -hmm. So, and that is it. And while you can, you can also post source photos like on your, I guess your personal pages or um, other free space pages. So. How do you do it if you already have it attached to a profile? Oh, look at that. That's a good, that's another good question. So let's say this one, let's say this is my photo. And I wanted to add it to either another free space page of mine or another just regular profile. You can come to this, the photo page, and you scroll down. And here, you have all the settings to edit it. Um, you, can add, you can add it as a primary photo for one. You can change the title. You can remove them from certain pages. You would do that here. Or if you're adding, you either put the person or free space profile page here. Like the 52 photos of the meet week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then also uh, if your, your watch list is also all here too. So if you, you can also scroll through and, and add it to any of those mm -hmm. profiles. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You can yep. add everything. It also gives you a little, the cheating. If you're if you don't know exactly how you would code it to put it inside text, it gives you this so you can just copy and paste it. And yeah, and you just save this. She didn't point to it, but that was the text over in the light gray on the right hand side of oh, the yes, screen. Here. If you want okay. to pop that text into a profile, it's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. And then here, there's if you want to like different size or align it to the right or the left. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you can add a caption. So many options here. You're welcome, Lisa. Mm -hmm. And then if you 
also wanted to expand on what it's about, you can post a comment on it. Yes, tell us what it's about. Mm -hmm. And you can, can share to G2G from here too. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Can you create an e-card from that picture? So I've never done that before. Yeah, I've never done that before either. Mm -mm. Look, it get a stamp. You can put a stamp on oh, it. Oh, we can put a stamp on it. Let's do it. Let's okay. do it. Who are we going to send oh. it to? Oh, let's send it. Oh, you don't want your email in there, do you? <laughs> well, it was there. Email? Yeah, it's there. Um, it info at WikiTree. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Tree.com. Oh, wait. Recipients. Um. Yeah, we better not. <laughs> <laughs> we might we might get yelled at, but I'm curious. No, we to won't what get it... yelled at is we don't want to put our personal email address up on the. I know. Video, which I mean, we already already saw it, but yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. Check your spam folder. Your mama says that she's not getting emails anymore. Have you changed your email settings in your settings tab of your? Have you? Mom? Yeah, check your spam folder too. That's, That's probably what John Tyner says. Yeah. So Sarah. Yes. You got big plans for the weekend. Um no, probably not. Not anything big plans. Probably just it's probably gonna rain this weekend. Not gonna rain. Maybe either. alligator wrestling. Or margarita, or no, no. margarita wrestling. No, Who knows? Margarita wrestling. Yeah, not doing any margarita wrestling here either. I got to watch NFL football all day yesterday, which was exciting. Hmm. Susan Anderson also says thank you, Sarah, for showing them that. Does anybody have a question that we could answer for you about WikiTree? Yeah, we still have some time. We got some time here. We love answering questions when we got extra time. Maybe we can but show your mama how to do are those. Are those things in your spam? Mom. Otherwise, we're going to be watching the uh, work being done out on oh, the Oh, boy. I know you're all excited about watching that. <laughs> knock, knock. Knock, knock. Okay, Joe. Who's there? I'm waiting. And the lag. We got to wait for the lag. I know. Uh, I know. <clears throat> Well, did did you did you mention Hillary's that her grandfather has a photo? She has a photo of her grandfather with a steamroller. I did post that. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. The, the Perseid meteor shower last night, and also it was a the last super full moon. Mm, yeah. 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 Well, if. So nobody has a question. We can all mom, open this. We already Steve said who's there, Joanna. Give us give us the punchline. We we're waiting. The punchline is come on, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that this Elisa well, says it must be at least the fourth bridge on Highway 417 that have been replaced in the last few years. It has, and it's been fascinating to watch. It's it's such a great way to 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 do it. Being a former DOT engineer, I just having a great time watching it. They they usually set up a grandstand so you can actually watch it too. That seems very interesting that people want to watch. Did you see your mom's answer yeah. to the knock knock joke? I guess you forgot. For I guess it's a good knock knock joke or not a good knock knock joke. Yeah. They forgot who they were. Yeah. So WikiTree, check out the challenge for this week. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know where you're you're going to find the information since the update hasn't been done, but you can check out the uh, page for the challenge, mm -hmm. and also look in G to G for the WikiTree challenge tags. Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Hello. Lopez is coming well, up. She goes so. by uh um. She changed her name because she got married to. She's Jennifer Affleck now. No Jennifer. way! Yeah, she got married to to how or she went 
she she was married to other people and she didn't change her name, but now she's changed it to Affleck. And this is not the first Jen Affleck either, which is the funny. And does a duck pop up and say Affleck? <laughs> 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 she's still, she's still going to go a commercial here, a, an insurance commercial where a duck jumps in and says "Affleck" all the time about yeah, yeah. So, so she's, she's still, still going to go by Jennifer Lopez as her stage name, but she changed okay. her legal so, name to so Affleck. Has, her real name is Gennaro Gennario. You pronounce that. You're better with that. Yes, that's her father, other father's other last name. She yeah. has two last names. She probably does whatever her mother's other last name is. So they're working on J Lo this week. Jenny from the block. Jenny from the block. All right. So cool on that. What other interesting things are going on on WikiTree? We have five minutes to fill, Sarah. I know. <laughs> we need Greg. Greg, come fill our time for us. By the way, so Greg, Greg, I know. So, Greg, what is what is Greg doing right now? Greg, is, unfortunately, I, Greg is at church playing. Unfortunately, for, he's at church playing for a funeral. Oh, playing for a funeral. Just, that's just so that, that first part. That yeah, is the unfortunate funeral. part. Yes. But the good part is that he's playing and it's making people mm -hmm. feel better. So we miss Greg. Greg said to tell everybody hello. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, Tom Cruise just finished. Thank you so much, John Tyner. Yeah, fill in that time. So are they going to do anything on Ben Affleck when uh, they do J-Lo? Now, now I feel like um, I'm now I so we said we've said Affleck too long too much. I feel like we're saying it wrong. Affleck. I don't know how to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yeah, not air our personal grievances. I'm not posting that, Joe. <laughs> uh, so, oh, if you want to see what Joe said, go and check out the YouTube video. It's not um, so that's the question of the week. Let's see. Jennifer Lopez, Wiki Tree Tops. Did you guys check this out? Tree uh, it's top. pretty cool. Um, talking about how many thank yous, the most appreciated. Um, I thought that was a pretty cool post. So uh, the all-time most thanked, Susan Goldmark Larson. And look at this. Hey. Alexis Nelson, the most 30-day thank you. Huh. Yeah, Susan, she's always also date. I can, I'm I'm not surprised that David is number two. Yeah. And Pip, look, Pip's number five. Yeah, Pip is really good about getting in. Maggie in, Robin Lee. Mm hmm Let me see. I'm down here. I recognize I recognize all of their all of these names. Where am I? I'm right here. Look at you. I'm in the also rands. <laughs> so the wiki tree top stuff are pretty cool um most appreciative most communicative um, susan yeah she susan also, also most connected the wiki tree tops wow with fifteen thousand, mine's way low mine my connections i have unusual surnames so mm -hmm. that doesn't help Thermally Webb is a mover and a shaker. What is a mover and a shaker? I guess the, the most stuff over the past month, maybe? Oh. Most connections made? So, most prolific. Prolific. Profiles edited. Kern Van Hoof. 7,117 in the month of July. And that's like way above everybody else. But isn't he doing work with one of the projects? So he's doing lots of small, quick stuff. That's pretty cool. So if mm -hmm. you're interested, check out the Wiki Tree Top stuff uh, on the G2G. Let me go back there. Where are we? 
<clears throat> so, oh, look. Live uh, now. Thanks, Tommy. Yes. All look, right. David Solomon just got a wonderful wiki tree here. <laughs> so, I think we can wrap this up. Yes. yes. Yeah. So Let's make sure we actually click the end broadcast. And, you know uh, what? I'm going to click the music. You click the thing, but give the music time to start. We'll see you guys next week. Hey.